Oh man, it's great to have you back. Happy New Year. I'm John Zadar. I'm going to be your host for On Top and Hot. And this is the first trading day of 2023. It is Tuesday, January 3rd. Now, what I like to do on this show is to bring you hot OTC and penny stocks. I'm looking for stocks that have potential to bring us gains. Now, I'm not necessarily going to always bring you stocks that have had a major run already, and we're going to be hoping for a bounce or a continuation. I like to bring you stocks that have value, that have a hot product, that got some deal lying in the future that's going to happen, that's going to get the stock running. Wouldn't it be nice to get in on these before they take off? That's what I'm hoping to do as well. Now, I do a lot of research on OTC and penny stocks. They're not the same. Penny stocks are any stock under five bucks. Doesn't matter what market they're on. There's a lot of penny stocks under five bucks on the OTC, but there's a lot of stocks over five bucks too. So not all stocks on the OTC market are penny stocks. But in saying that, not all stocks on the major exchanges are expensive. There are lots of stocks under five bucks on the major exchanges. So don't be surprised if we're looking at a New York Stock Exchange or a NASDAQ stock. As long as it's under five bucks, it qualifies. Now, I do do a lot of research on OTC stocks. Matter of fact, all that news right there comes from the OTC market. That's news I've looked at over the last seven, eight days, something like that. Oldest is up at the top, newest is down here at the bottom. And there's a lot of good news in there, folks. Mergers, acquisitions, uplistings, bankruptcies, dividends, all sorts of information. So if you don't have time to comb through the news like I do, Please take advantage of my hard efforts. I did do it for you. Now, when I do my research on OTC stocks specifically, this is the site I use, the otcmarkets.com website. I really like this site. They've got a lot of information here, the share structure, filings, news. But the reason I really like it is because it's updated every single day by Fiener and the SEC for every single OTC stock. God, folks, that saves me a lot of time. I do not know of one other site on the entire internet that does this. So if you're running around the internet trying to find current information on OTC stocks, you're wasting your time, folks. Honestly, start here. See if it makes a difference. I bet it does. All right, let's take a look at how our OTC market finished on the first day of 2023. All right, we're crossing our fingers because it does not look good right now. Give us a bump, people. Give us a... <laughs> not. All right, it's not good, folks. Dollar volume is down at $1.4 billion. That's low. We need to be at least up at $2, 2 $2.1 Share volume, we're stuck in the $5 billion range again. We want to be up at $10 billion at least. And our trades... As I said in every show for the last, oh, I don't know, 90 shows, we've been stuck between 250 and 300,000. Actually, we're a little bit below that right now, so it's not encouraging. All right, I've got some stocks I want to share with you that are encouraging, and one of them has got some unbelievable growth potential, folks. I am talking about a 250,000% gains we are looking at the way it sits right now. You think I'm kidding, don't you? Let me show you. Come on. All right, let's get this party started. First stock we're going to take a look at is kegs. Perfect party material, huh? This is sticker KEGS 1812 Brewing Company. This is an American craft brewery that is making beers and selling them. They're getting awards for them. They're making money. They're growing. The company's doing well, but we're just not seeing a lot of chart activity. Well, today they had some big news come out. I actually want to share this with you because I kind of got a build on it. Today, the company tells us that they retired 3.4 billion shares of outstanding common stock. We're talking shares on the market, outstanding. They eliminated 3.4 billion of them. Oh my God, do you know what that's done? It's given us shareholder value in a big way and probably a small float to boot. Well, she finished today on that news at 0008 with 100% gains. Now, the reason we normally don't look at triple zero stocks that often is because they don't move very far, very fast. 
Now this one started at 0004 and got to 0008. That's a nice move and that's big news. And the company is doing some good business. So I'm expecting this to start to move sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. So now is a good time to consider it at this price. She is on the pink tier, she's current, and she's got those two green ticks I'm always telling you to look for, a verified profile and a transfer agent. Especially if you're going to be in a stock for a long hold, you want as much validated information as you can get. But if you're just trading the stock for a quick swing or a day trade, don't worry about it. So they tell us here that the company seeks to build a nationwide network of craft breweries to develop and foster brand growth at the local, regional, and national level. The company's current holding, 1812 Brewing Company, produces award-winning beers, and they got a list of them here. So what was the relative volume around this company's big news today? Holy cow! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, she went from 96 million shares to over a half a billion. 637 million shares removed today. Tell me people weren't excited about getting some shareholder value. Share structure, what do we got over here? All right, okay. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. This is why I had to show you the news. They say they eliminated 3.4 billion shares, right? Well, outstanding shares is what they were talking about. That would leave us, I don't know, uh, 170 million shares. That's all that would leave. Now, I did jump into their most recent financial, and they tell us here that the total shares outstanding was just under 5 billion, and the number of shares in the public float is at 1.5 billion. Bottom line, I don't know. <laughs> that is to say, I don't know how many shares are left. I don't know, but they've taken away 3.4 billion. And no matter how you slice that, that is the lion's share of what they have on the table. So whatever they've got left, it is a heck of a lot less than what they started with. Kegs Financials. All right, they don't give us any numbers over here, but we do have that most recent financial we can jump into. This column here, this is the third quarter of 2022. They did just in that quarter about a half a million dollars. This column here covers from January to September. They did a total of about three quarter million dollars. And we still got one more quarter to add on to this year. Disclosures, we got anything new over here? No, we have no filings whatsoever. Now I do wanna jump back into that news because that news has more to say than just the fact that they eliminated 3.4 billion shares. They tell us that the chairman and CEO has exchanged his shares of common stock for a company note and 3.4 billion shares of common stock have been returned to the transfer agent and taken back into the company's treasury. The transaction, effective December 28th, results in a decrease of outstanding shares by 3.4 billion shares. Now they tell us that the last 12 months have been the most significant 12 month period in the company's history, during which the company achieved numerous operational milestones. And they've got them listed right here. We're not gonna go through them. You can read them here, or you can actually look up the news yourself. I'll scroll a little bit more so you can actually read them. But what I wanna actually share with you is this down here. As the company looks forward into 2023, we hope to consummate at least one acquisition within the first six months contingent upon obtaining a top tier financing. They are currently talking to two different companies. One would immediately more than double the company's annual revenues. That's exciting check out the other company, while the other one would do 11 times to 12 times our annual revenues. Oh my God. So you're going from about a million dollars a year to $12 million a year just by making a deal with another company. So they do have things in the lurches waiting to happen. Let's go take a look at that chart now. So we're taking a look at KEGS, ticker K-E-G-S. We're going to be doing our charting on Think or Swim, the free trading platform you get from TD Ameritrade. So this is a six month, four hour chart. We got a high bubble back here of 0028 and a low bubble in October of 0001. 
right on the floor, folks. You can't get any lower. She hasn't hardly done anything these last six months. She's been under the 200 the entire time except for today. She has been working towards it for the last three or four days. She's been coming out from underneath that nine-day SMA, got on top of her 50, and has been pushing up ever since. Look at our technicals. Don't they look beautiful? Our PPO had a crossover three days ago and has been getting stronger ever since. Same with our MACD. That is a tsunami pushing off of the beach. And our RSI is up here at 79 on fire. 20-day, one-hour view. Now, this is why I don't like triple zero stocks. They look like barcodes most of the time. What I mean is they only jump from one digit to another, from two to three, back to two, up to three, back to two. And they'll do that for days, weeks, months. That's why I say a lot of these triple zero stocks just turn out to be long holds. So she was doing that routine all the way across the board until these last three or four days where she's been gaining momentum. The more time goes by, the stronger it's getting. And whoa! Look at our technicals, folks. All of them are pushing up strong right now. You cannot lose if all of your oscillators are pointing up. Five day, five minute. So it's been the last two days she has actually started to push up. We had a bounce yesterday up to that triple zero four, which is where she started the day. She pretty much held that, went to triple zero five, and then grabbed some momentum at a, what time is that? About 2.30 in the afternoon, she decided to take off from that triple zero five and went to triple zero eight. All of our SMAs are perfectly lined up right now. And look at our technicals. All of them are pointing up, looking great. Everything is still on fire. This looks like it wants to continue to run, folks. It looks like it wants to keep going. And at this price, you could get some real good gains. Now, keep in mind, the company has another acquisition or two in mind. It could do anything from double their annual revenues to 12 times them. So that's something to look forward to as well. I like KEGS. They're a legitimate business. They're making money. They just haven't gotten a lot of love yet. I think it's about time they do. Now, here's a company that had a great day, but really has nothing going for it. Not really. <laughs> This is ticker AIMH, Amorite Holdings Corporation. Now, the company hasn't had any news since I think it's 2020. There's no new filings out. There's just actually nothing going on. Really, the only thing I can say about the company is that it is a clean shell. A shell company is a company that doesn't have any business. They're not making any money. They're waiting or preparing for a deal a merger, an acquisition, something. So everything is righteous if they've got something going on, but I don't see anything going on whatsoever. Why is it running then? Well, it seems there was some information that was discovered about the CEO, Mr. Adam Sexton. Seems he has connections with another company, and that's it. There's no rumor of the two companies coming together or anything like that, though this is what people are kind of thinking. You try to put two and two together. You try to get ahead of the game. So there was a lot of activity around this stock today, which has simple information that was released. And I'll share that with you here in just a second. So AIMH finished today just under three cents at 0 0.0286 with almost 140% gains. She is on the pink tier current, got those two green ticks I tell you to look for, and as I said, she is a shell company. She's not doing anything right now. So what was the relative volume around this company today? That's a huge jump for not having any real catalyst. I mean, seriously, you went from 29,000 shares to 3.3 million shares? Oh my God, what a jump that was. Share structure for Amorite. Well, let's see what we got here. All right, our outstanding shares is 133 million. They tell us that the unrestricted is 10 million. That's normally where I get my float from. And they say the float here is 7.5 million, but that was back in August. So if you can, jump into the most recent financial report and see if they tell you. They did. Total float is 7.5 million. I know a lot of people believe it's 10 million. It's even better than that financials for this company? Well, being a shell company, all you're going to see are zeros, but we'll just show you to verify that information and disclosures. All right. All of our filings are caught up. We got no problems there. And we had an 8K out in 2020. 
<laughs> so we've had no new filings since 2020 and news uh, the last piece of news we had came out in 2020. As I said, there is absolutely nothing going on with the company. So let me show you what does have this stock running. We've got those tweets I was telling you about. These aren't from the company. These are just regular investors doing DD, trying to connect dots. They're trying to see if they can come up with a reason this is gonna benefit the company. They're speculating. The problem is, is that nobody's real clear here. Nobody's told me what the speculation is, though I could probably make a wild guess. I don't know enough about this to actually do that. So this is one of the tweets here. AIMH Adam Sexton CEO confirmed the same Adam Sexton Interim CEO of LG's Ad Solutions and once a general manager at Samsung. So they tell us here that this company, LG Ads, they did a deal not too long ago with Alfonso. And just last year, they produced $300 million worth of revenue. And they hope to be doing $500 million next year. But nowhere in here is AIMH mentioned. Then they tell us about the Adam Sexton part. They show us that Adam Sexton is the COO and Interim CEO at LG Ad Solutions. So our CEO of AIMH is also the CEO of this other company that's making a lot of money. And as far as I can see, they are not public. It's not a public company. Would they want to bring this over to the OTC market? I don't know. And then down here, they give us a little bit more information and they tell us that the AIMH CEO is the largest shareholder. And when we were looking at the share structure, did you notice restricted shares here? 123 million shares are owned by insiders. Now, I don't know if that's all the CEO or a whole bunch of insiders, but we were only left with what? Seven and a half million shares. Insiders have all the rest of the shares. That's not a bad thing at all. Outside of that, there really isn't anything else over here, folks. I have combed this, and this is all I can say is that people may be thinking that one company is gonna come over to another company because this is the man in the middle who can make it happen. But nobody has said that yet. Let's go take a look at that chart. So we're looking at AIMH. This is a six month, four hour chart. Doesn't look too bad, not really, not for a company doing nothing. At least she hasn't been falling for six months like so many stocks we see. She has been under the 200 all this time, except today she did break through. And you can see there's not been a lot of trading. I mean, for the last 30 days, she's been doing like 29,000 shares a day. So I can imagine it was even less back here. But through all of it all, she has been averaging about a penny and a half. A little above, a little below, but right about a penny and a half. Until today, today she jumped from just over a penny to just over three cents. She was at her high over 200% gains today had a lot of volume come in and all of our technicals are igniting right now. Every single one of them is launching and pushing up. They all look great. 20 day, one hour view. Ooh, you can see she doesn't get much trading. Not a whole lot going on until today. She did start off just about 0 0.012, hit uh, 0 0.031, pulled back a little bit, and has settled at 0 0.028 with a total of 140% gains. Definitely still riding up. I don't see any pullback on the hour, and all of our technicals are in agreement that she is still climbing without any catalyst, right? We're only talking about news about their CEO now being put in charge of another company that has been making a lot of money and is gonna be making more money. Five day, five minute. Now that's beautiful, I can't complain about that. There's your low bubble right there at 0 0.012, our high bubble at 0 0.0315, and she pretty much just went sideways. Once this 20-day SMA came into the picture, it looks like that is what became her guide. She has just been riding that all the way up. Our technicals do show some pullback right now, not heavy, but they do look like they have calmed down. Now, I didn't expect AIMH to do this sort of run, just getting information on their CEO. 
But as I said, with speculation comes dreams. With dreams comes excitement. And people like to be a part of something big. And if you don't give them all the facts, boy, they will imagine the biggest you can imagine. And you will see the price run. So I would keep my eye on AIMH. This is one of those stocks that I would turn my back on because it just doesn't look like it has anything going on and really shouldn't be running on this news. And these are the ones that always surprise me and do something silly and go three, four, five hundred percent gain. So please watch AIMH so I don't feel guilty. Right. Are you ready for the big one? I told you I had a stock that has potential of 250,000% gains. No, I am not kidding. Now, chances are we're not going to grab all 250,000%, but if you can grab any of that, I guarantee you that's going to be a chunk of change. Now, you're probably going, how in the heck can you possibly say that? How can you pull a big old number like that out of thin air? Well, I'm really not. The fact of the matter is I've done this before. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I was looking at a stock that was on the expert market. It was not on the open market, but looked like it was about ready to come back. And I said, folks, the price has been pushed down so low from where it was before it went off the market. They pushed it down so low that when it comes back on the market, it'll probably bounce right back to its normal price. And I said 17,000% to get there. Well, it hit 89,000%. It just flew past its old price, went way the heck up. And then it did come back down. But that's what I'm talking about. Because this stock is not on the market right now. I don't know why it got pulled off. I'm not even exactly sure when it got pulled off. But it is not tradable yet. And it's not that there's anything wrong with it. It is pink current. Something else is going on that we're just not aware of. And maybe a real deep dive could get to that answer. But what we're looking at this for is for when it comes back on the market. You want this ticker on your watch list. You want to be watching it. When you see it go green and live, by golly, you're going to want to get in. Because right now, the price is at 0 0.002. Now, a lot of these stocks, when they get pulled off the market, whatever the price is, they get jammed down hard. And I mean down into the triple, quadruple, even quuplet. Is that a word? Five zeros. Zero, 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 two. I mean, that's how far down they'll go. So let me show you what was going on. This stock went off the market some time ago, but you can see trades behind the scenes. That's what this trade data is here. Now look at the price back here in September. We were at $5.24. Week later, it jumped to $5.76. Now, none of these trades are on the open market. They are legitimate trades. They are affecting the price, but they're happening behind the scenes by brokers and marketers, people like that. But then here, Two weeks later, look at the price, 0 0.0012. You're talking about over 500,000% drop, just like that. And right now, we are at 0 0.002. And from 0 0.002 to five bucks is 250,000% gains. Now, I don't anticipate that we can get in at 0 .002. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even try because the fact is we can't use a market order to get in on these stocks. You've got to use a limit order. you got to pick a price and you better pick a price way ahead of it so it runs into you and grabs you. If you don't, you're just going to be chasing it because it's going to be moving fast. Now, the thing is, it's at 0 .002. Maybe you want your bid to be 10 cents. You're going 10 cents. My God, that's a lot of profit you're throwing away. Even if you're throwing away 5,000% gains, you've still got 245,000% gains that you can cash in on now that you're in the game. You got to get in the game first. And if you got to pay to get in there, it's worth it if there's that much sitting on the table. So that's what we're looking at here. Now, the company has value, folks. Don't think it doesn't. This is a right, a real estate investment trust. This is a company that buys property and rents it, and it allows us to invest in that sort of business. So this is a right, and rights are normally very secure and very rich in cash. Their financials, as of the end of 2021, they did $295 million worth of business. Don't forget those three zeros right there, folks. So they are making money. They're doing a lot of good. And quarterly, 
Well, they're still making money. First quarter, they did 73 million. Second quarter, 53 million. Third quarter, 43 million. It is falling, I'll give you that, but they're still making a lot of money. Now, I want to share two other pieces of information that show you the value around this company. First off, the company did just have news come out. Uh, this came out December 30th. Realty income to buy property portfolio for $894 million from CIM Real Estate. Realty income, a net lease right agreed on Friday to acquire up to 185 single tenant and industrial properties from CIM Real Estate Finance Trust for 894 million in cash, almost a billion dollars. They tell us here that CIM Real Estate plans to use the proceeds from the sale to be deployed into senior secured loans and other similar credit investments. Then the last thing I want to show you here was a filing that came out not too long ago. Let's see if we got a date up here. I do believe this was just about four or five days ago, just at the end of the month is when it came out. They tell us here, as a reminder of materials previously mailed to you, Comrit Investments Limited Partnership is offering to purchase for cash up to 22 and a half million shares of common stock from CIM Real Estate Finance at a price of $4.61 per share. The offer and related withdrawal rights expire at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, December 29th, 2022. And I did not see any filings retracting the offer. So you've got this company, Comrade Investments, which is going to buy 22 million shares at $4.61. And right now it's at 0 .002. Now I do not believe that they're going to buy these shares behind the scenes. These are going to probably be open market market shares. So I would definitely be keeping my eye on this company. I really can't show you a chart because it hasn't got any. It's just, it's naked, it's bald, it's old. But trust me, folks, you're going to want to put CMRF into your watch list at 002 when this comes live. And I have no clue when it's going to happen. I have no idea why it stopped. But when it does, you want to be ready. These sort of humongous gains do not come around often folks so cmrf for the big home run hit and a grand slam definitely a mixed bag of nuts there but i think there is some hot stocks to consider. Now, AMIH, that's just a wild card. I'd watch it just because I don't trust it. It's one of those stocks I think would bounce as soon as I turned my back on it. Kegs, on the other hand, Kegs is setting up for a nice run, and that's a legitimate business. So I would keep my eye on Kegs. And that last one, Come on, folks, 250,000% gains. It's at 0 .002. Get ready for a bid of 25 cents. I'm serious. Quit being greedy. Take 190% gains and throw away 60,000. If it can get you into the game, wouldn't you like a profit from 25 cents to $5? So don't be silly. Don't be trying to get in at 008 or, or a penny. Folks, throw a nice bid out there and get into the game because I'm promising you it will go back to its true value of the stock. It's not going to stay down there when they make that kind of money. Remember, folks, DD is great. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.